It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing Ark Survival of All Peeps. I hope you guys are having a good day. I am having a really good day, and today we're going to do stuff and things. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you've tuned in this channel before. Some days we do stuff. Some days we do things. Some days we do stuff and things. Those are the really <laughs> big days. And today's one of those days. We're actually just going to take a break from doing the kibble farm. And we're going to do some taming, guys, I think, to start off with. We haven't tamed anything yet. Really. I mean, we've got a Bronto and, like, a Trike or whatever. We did a couple of, like, lower-level things. But, you know what I mean? Like, our own personal dinos. We don't really have any of those. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Thank you guys so much. I wanted to say thank you so much for all your support and all the ARC stuff and things. You know, on the Buildable Saddles video, we've got, like, 19,000 likes on it. It's absolutely unbelievable. And I really do appreciate your help. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more hot daily ARC action. But today, we're going to tame stuff and things. That's an RG right there. What level are you, RG? 108? Okay, then. <laughs> So, we've had some problems with this in the past, with taming RGs that are really high level. Um, and as far as, like, trying to get them knocked out, I think we've got it taken care of. But I, I do believe we should... Well, you know what? We might not even need to deal with those guys. Let's come over here and see what we got going on. we got to kind of wait for this guy to land. Oh, we got some hot saber tooth action down here, so we got to take this guy out. Oh, you want to go, saber tooth army? You think you got what it takes? You do not. You ever, oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 not our good RG. Oh, die, die, stupid guy. Lag, die, lag. Die, lag, and die, stupid guy. No, you die. You die now. Don't hit the Argentarvis. It's the newest game from ColecoVision. All right, so we got the RG. We've got him kind of separated from the Sabretooth army. He's down there eating stuff and things. You know what? This is the opportune time. This is the perfect time. T-Whistle passive. Let's do this. Get on. Get mounted. All right. We're mounting. And we're mounting. All right. We're over here. And we've got this up. And... Where are you going, homie? Did I get you? Have you been gotten? You gonna come in for landing? Oh, it looks like I really hurt him already. Oh my gosh, man. Where are you going, man? You want some of this? Don't, don't. I shot him in his butthole area. Perfect. Got him in his other butthole. You didn't know they had two? Yeah, they do. All right, hit him again. Dude, I can't believe this is working out so great. I have a very bad track record with RG taming. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say the words. Get knocked out! No, don't act with Terry. Oh, I missed. You want some? All right, got him again. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Pass out, homie. I don't want to kill it. Really, don't want to kill it. All right, I think only maybe one more hit is all we can do. All right, all right, he's going after Terry. Oh, we're stuck. Don't die, Terry! I'm coming! I think that's all. I don't think I can hit him again. Get knocked out. Get knocked out. Oh, my God. Get knocked out! Oh, that was a mess. Just trying to be really careful. Come on, come on, come on. Are you tired yet? One more hit, I think he's going to go. Alright, I don't feel like I should hit him anymore. I feel like this is the worst. He's super red, but so am I. Are you going to pass out, yo? I got him one more time. Are you down? He's down! Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it! We've tamed an RG Tarvitz. Well, we've knocked him out. We've knocked him out. But we've got him knocked out. This is the most amazing thing that ever happened. He's 108th level. We need prime meats. I saw some other RGs over here. Prepare to die. So we've got him down. Uh, 108. I don't think we've got any RG kibble to speak of. I want to make sure he's not going to get attacked by anything. Where is he? Where did he go? Where did you go, guy? Don't go anywhere. All right. All right. It looks super safe. I think we're super safe. 
I saw a couple mammoths over here. How's our stamina doing? Where'd our mammoths go? Here they are. Are any of you guys ridiculously high level? Let's, let's just check, just in case. Level 12. Level 36. They are mate boosted, but we could take these guys out for sure. Bring it on, mammoth! You want to take... You want to take it to the limit? You want the full slip gator? You can't handle the full slip gator. Yeah, that's right. You're dead now. No, no! Stupid! Everything's stupid. Kind of. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. Check this out. Check this out. Stay right there. Prime meat. Give it to me. Give me your prime meat. One! It's not even a mouse on a wheel. We're doing it! I'll take all this out. Give it to me. RG gone. Stupid saber tooth. You want some? Dead. Mammoth. Taking it next. Got him. Nailed the ace that can't be stopped. Land, homie. Uh, 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 uh. Stuck under. Okay. Got it. Here we go. Prime. Two prime. All right. We're good. We got a couple prime meat. We're doing good. I brought some narcotics with me. Oh, we're super burdened now. Uh, with all of our amazing prime meat. Uh, one of these. Throw this, throw this. And then some of the regular meat. We can just get rid of this. We don't need all that weight. All right. Are we good to fly now? All right. Nailed it. All right. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to just do the same. Uh, I'm going to go back and find our guy, wherever he is. Where is he? Where are you, guy? Where is he? Seriously. Right here? There he is. Now that it's the game is stopped. All right, so we'll grab this. We'll go ahead. We'll squirt. Oh, you know what? We do need to get some regular meat. So let's get all this prime off of here. Want some regular meat like so. And bam, 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 bam. So as it sits right now, he's at plus 53 levels. He was a 108, so he'll tame out at 161. Should be a pretty baller RG. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this is the most, like, the biggest thing that I wanted. More than anything, I wanted a high level RG. Um, just because they're, like, the workhorse of, of ARC. There's nothing really, in my opinion, that's a better all around dino, um, than an Argent Harvest. So this is gonna be super amazing! I can't wait, dude, dudes and dudettes! And you know what else? We're gonna be able to war paint him too. I haven't even showed you guys that. I showed you a little bit. We painted Terry. But we're going to have some amazing stuff and things happening inside of Hya as soon as we get this thing tamed up. And once that happens, I will uh, brrrbees, peeps. <clears throat> Beer bees, peeps. Sorry. <laughs> and we're back under cover of darkness on the super cold mountain in the super dark darkest of the dark times. And on the hill, on the mountain. Oh, look, Orion's belt. We are almost ready to tame the Argentarvis. And I actually flew over to the kibble farm, got three. I didn't take a lot of time, but I did make, no, two, pardon me, two kibble and brought it back. And he didn't really lose any taming effectiveness at all. Other than that, I've just been feeding him prime meat, and he should be ready to tame up here pretty soon. I'm thinking the next eat, it will be ours. And he will be 161? It's going to be unbelievable. He's going to be the best bird we ever did have. We got him. We got him. I don't know what to name him. I have no idea what to name him. Um. Uh. What can we name him? I don't even know. Uh. Crapo. Crapo? Is that a good name? No. Dr. Crapo. No. It's better, but not as good. Uh. Oh, I, uh. Drumstick? Nah. Kind of funny. Not so great. Uh, hot wing? No. Zular, Zular already got that. Um, garlic wings? Oh, I love garlic wings. They're so delicious. Uh, we'll think of a name for him here in a second. We'll just call him RG Gator for now <laughs> to start with. So we're going to take that guy. Let's go ahead and get him on a follow. Oh, he already is. All right, sweet. So we got this. We can barely see anything. You know what we will do is we'll gamma up for you guys. Oh, oh, we saw the inside of his body. All right, where are we? All right, so we got our super amazing guy, RG Gator. We're going to get a better name for him. But now I'm going to fly. Oh, yeah, the, the poop city's right over this way. I'm going to fly him over, get a saddle made for him. We'll get a better name on him. And then, actually, Corrales is asking me to come up to his base. You guys should really see this. Um, 
he's got a really awesome new base, and he's working on some watering piping stuff and things. He's never done that before. So I think we're going to go over and help him to do that real quick today, too. But, um, yeah, first things first, let's get this RG hooked up and ready to rock. I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back, and I've named the new RG, and I think I've got a really good name. So you know how um, birds are called game? Like, you know, big game, or like a lot of like like hunting things are called game? But I thought I'd call them gameplay. That's right, peeps, gameplay! It's kind of a play on words like foul mouth was, because foul mouth, foul is a chicken kind of deal. But this guy's name is gameplay. He's going to be baller, man. He's already 160. Let me show you his stats. 1,740 health, 3,000 stamina. He's got 500 weight, so not bad weight, but we won't really be pumping a ton of that. 375% melee damage to start with, and movement speed's 100%. We're probably going to pump, I don't know, maybe HP's up once, see how high we can get that, and then most likely a mixture of melee damage and movement speed with a focus on melee damage, getting that up to um, at least 1,000%. But um, straight away, let's just go ahead and t test him out. Suck it, Dodo! That's right! Gameplay is up in this piece. You want to go, Trike? Wow, this takes a long time. 375% melee damage is not a lot. Is this Trike like a humongously high level? Are you going to die soon? The people are all watching. Try to make me look good, Trike. Any minute now. Oh, he's 116. <laughs> no wonder, man. Holy crap. So we already got to level up. Want to get some meat off of him. Sweet. Let's check out. Let's get a level up. Oh, let's pump one level into HPs. Oh, 2200 already. Nice. Melee damage. Oh, my gosh. That went up almost, what would it be, like 30% for one click? That's pretty baller. That's pretty baller. All right. I think we're going to get to painting this guy, too. We're just not going to do it immediately. We're going to do it here in a minute. Um, like I was saying, Corrales was asking about some help with some piping stuff and things. So I thought we would maybe head up to his base. I'll show that off to you guys. And then we'll help him out with some water stuff and things. And uh, then we'll be our beast, peeps. Hey, homie. Hey, homie. What's up, man? Oh, dude. Why? Every freaking time. I had to go. Tiny had a big lunch. <laughs> when a man's got to go, a man's got to go, I guess. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Welcome to my... Yeah, dude. Welcome to my house. Is my I know. Piece? I got to show my peeps this. You know, <clears throat> some of my peeps, of course, know and love the Corrales. Some of you guys don't really know much about Corrales, but there's one thing I got to tell you about this man, is that he's a building expert, and this house looks absolutely awesome, dude. It is so cool. Well, thank you, homie. Look how cool it looks, man. Well, it's not a, t it's not a tiny house. <sighs> I don't think you were going to fit inside. Well, it's bigger than yours, though. <laughs> this house is so big, tiny is inside the house. No, look, it's got it's big enough. Oh, you got a sign here. The Corrales Manchon. The car is my shop. Maison. Maison de Corrales. It is my little place. Like, I mean, welcome. It is, take man. A on, take a peek on the inside. Look at what you you're, got. You're yeah, ginormous. You're, you got your little bed. <laughs> Look, tiny and not tiny and inside <laughs> the house. Oh, wait. No, my head's not even poking out. You did a great job. High five, dude. High fives. This is looking great, dude. Oh, what? High five. I'm sorry. Oh. oh, oh. High five. <laughs> and there goes the window. There's gonna be thank you, dude. Let me see. Oh, what's this, man? The crow's nest? No, it's my little like uh, sunbathing area. Oh, for sunbathing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and here, look at this. Here we got a quick escape route. In case stuff just goes down. Oh, let me close your door here. Some one day. Nailed it. And then here's quick escape route. <laughs> it's not <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool, it. man. So. So, homie, I want to help with something. All right, what do you need? It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take for me forever to figure out. What I need help with is with some piping. <laughs> and I've heard you're a great pipe jobber. I'm a, <laughs> I'm pretty much the best pipe jobber that I know. <laughs> I've never done... I've been... Yeah. So, okay, we need some pipe jobs done. Yeah, dude, I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to go into my inventory, right? Okay. Uh, my, like, like, craft area. So, basically, it's under structure. We got pipes. I have stone pipes, and I'm, I'm I'm happy with that. We have some water reservoirs and stuff, and what I want to do is kind of connect that to a little crop area. And okay. I don't really know how to do it. So let me just go in here. I'm going to craft a few of everything, right? Okay. What do we need? Well, like, what do we need? Well, I mean, do you want to do the crops today, or do you just want to do the 
the I want to do a little pipe job and some crop thing, I guess. Okay, Let so you just, should just yeah, craft like ten of those. You should probably make your crop plots now because then lay those out and then lay your piping out. It might look pretty legit. Just I can. I mean, this is just a try and error. Bam. Perfect. So it says not irrigated. I I I think that placing it directly on it. it oh, there is, it goes. It there it goes. Irrigated. All right, it is irrigated. I would have maybe okay. placed it a little bit different, but, oh, but it's fine. This is just for the for the for the moment being. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna switch our routes in a later stage. It's gonna I'm be beautiful. Gonna I know. I I'm, trust you. I know it's gonna be beautiful. Uh, how do I access okay, access inventory? So put the feces in here, and then the seeds like yep. this, right? Yeah. Okay, and then so bam, it already grows. did it. So now you can, can see I, it actually says crop medjoberry seedling. Um, see, you can see it there. It's kind of in the tap though. <laughs> but eventually it'll grow. Now it who's, does take who's that? Oh yeah, I see, I see, I see. You see it a little bit? Place here. Yeah, it's a stupid idea. <laughs> um it's cool. Like it'll all work, but um it does take, by the way, several in game days for this to all happen. So it takes a long time. But then again, is it possible for somebody to collect this, or do I need to like come here and pick it up myself? You need to come and pl- pick it up yourself. Okay, okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Question is though, like this mayo berry plant, how many, how much, how many berries will it yield? Like obviously not enough because I can just get like hundreds of them with my monkey man for like two right. seconds, right? Right. It's gonna take so, two seconds for me. But it gets a, it's a couple hundred, I think two or three hundred. Oh, um, that's not bad. But um, what happens is also is they start to spoil right away, um, and and if you have fertilizer in here, it actually makes them spoil slower. If you have feces or fertilizer, um, but really, you know, the main thing that you use crops for might be for um, things you need to have all the time that you don't necessarily want to gather, like maybe stem berries, narco berries, and then also there's sava root, um, rock carrot. So there's like all of the um, Vegetables, citronol, um, and those are used for making um, kibble. Potions okay. and kibble, yeah. Yep, and and for the potions, and then also like citronol is like um, one of the favorite foods of um, I think the little mini monkeys like citronol best. And so yeah, so there's definitely some um, there's some definitely some for uses it. for those. Yeah, and you can only get those vegetables and and the fruits from farming. You have to farm those. But you know what? I like this. I like this. I mean, I'm gonna make it. Purdy uh, soon, so don't worry about this. But I think it looks pretty nice. I mean, it just adds to the ambiance of the whole place now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think if you I, 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 you know how to do it now, and so like when you make it beautiful, like you'll have a beautiful little farm over here, I bet. And we're back at our base, and I gotta say, Krause's house is pretty amazing. Kind of puts our little house to shame. I mean, I mean, I like our little house, but Krause's house is really, really well done. He's such a great builder. So um, one of the things, oh yeah, if you guys haven't already, go check him out. His links to Krause's channel is in the down there. Looks like Dmax coming into town. What's he doing? What are you doing, Dmax? Just stealing berries off my Bronto? See what he's see what he's doing. Doesn't even know we're here. What's up, Dmax? Hi, friend. <laughs> so anyway, one of the things that's been in the updates that I didn't tell you guys about is War Paint is in now, and you check it out, man. I put a slipgrader symbol on the side of my Bronto's butt. Pretty cool. Um, after I came back from Krause's house, I spent a bunch of time playing around with, uh, or making a bunch of dyes, and now we've got a bunch over here. And I think gameplay, I think gameplay needs a paint job. Now this is really wacky. Oh, that you can see right there, I screwed up a little bit. Um, you gotta hold control and click to like move your guy around, right? So we've got that there, and then we've got a bunch of dyes in here. And I'm thinking we can try some different colors and see kind of how this works. So if we do this like this, oh, if we hold shift, there we get a big one. So I'm thinking we could do some really, really great paint jobs and make our guys look pretty, 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 pretty unbelievable. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to play around that to start with. I want to make something, you know, I want to kind of do something maybe really inspired and kind of next level like something that you really would never see before or never again and um i think i'm going to be able to do that so i think i'm gonna start off today just by painting up uh gameplay with a new and uh unprecedented and an absolutely uh, amazing new color scheme I'll, I'll be i'll be right back peeps and we're back and i'm pretty sure guys 
changing the face of Ark as we know it. This paint job, polka paint, is going to be the most polka paint. It's going to be the most amazing thing ever. Enter painting name, polka paint. Load paints from this paint type, polka paint. All right, so I don't even know how that even works yet. Uh, look at what we've done. He's really quite an amazing specimen now, is he not? This polka dot of paint job, it's just, I think it's going to be all the rage. Look, let's go ahead and fly with him. Look how amazing he looks. Look at that. <laughs> he looks so amazing. Look how great he looks. I wonder if we take him around town and maybe see if somebody else is around. We can fly him around and see if somebody else likes it. I mean, it's pretty great. It's a pretty great paint job. I really think it's good. I like it. Is anybody in town that could we could bring it down and show them the paint job and see if they could appreciate how amazing it is? I don't know. Let's see if we can find somebody. And we're back. I call this a Merca. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Behold! I couldn't find anybody to show our amazing paint jobs off to. Well, look what I've done! A Merca the bird. He's so amazing. Look, <laughs> he's red, white, and blue. This is a war paint for you right here, ladies and gentle peeps. Look how uniform it is, too. If we look around it, look, the bottom came out really good. That is thumbs up time right there, ladies and gentle peeps. It's <laughs> The top came out good, though. Well, look at he's like American flag bird guy. America the bird. We'll have to work on it a little bit more. All right. I feel like we've done a couple fun ones, but you know what? I really do want to do, like, an actual paint job on this guy that's cool. So, let me see here. Now, we do have, I didn't make, I th can't remember, do I have black? Now, I don't think the black really does much. Let me actually show you kind of how this works a little bit. Well, I showed you in the beginning there, but, um, so again, it's control, and then control mouse wheel to like zoom in and zoom out and stuff like that. So, um, and then obviously it's just, um, left mouse button to paint, shift left, mo left mouse button to paint a big, like a thicker line. Um, but some of it's a little bit weird. Like if you paint, a thick line right here, it paints like a hugely thick line, as you can see. And then if we do black like right here, oh, that is really black. Oh, 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 that's kind of hot. He's kind of hot with the all with the all blackness. Maybe we'll paint him all black and then we'll do a little bit of like something, something. I'm not sure. All right, so this is going to be the first attempt at a serious paint job. And then I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back. I've been playing around with the war paint for a while. Whoops! And uh, I want to show you guys a couple of things that I'm finding out about here. So we'll actually cover this up right here. But, um, yeah, it's a little bit buggy. Um, it's really fun, but also a little bit frustrating. So, like, for instance, see this little red patch right here? So if I make my paintbrush white and I paint over this... Wait, that toenail just changed color. So I'm trying to make his talons red, right? So if I paint this talon, it, like, paints that as well. And I'm trying to figure out if there's a way that I can do one and not the other. So I'm trying to see if maybe it's a directional thing. Oh, am I out of red now? Crapo. All right, we'll just use blue for now. So if I paint it down here, like no. So it doesn't matter if I face the camera in a different direction. It's still all It's going to paint that every time. Like these talons back here, when I did these, it did as, it did this these knees as well. So you can see if I do the knees... It, it takes those out, too. And I know um, Zul'jin has a white paint job on his guy named Archangel. Um, and I tried playing around with black, which actually doesn't seem to really... See, I need more red dye. Oh, crap. Oh, it's like super night. So um, I tried playing around with some other stuff and things. Um, but I got to tell you, like, now that I've done it and I've seen, like, what Z did with Archangel, I was kind of like, yeah, that's kind of all you can do. Like, um, I tried doing some... Um, I'll show you. I tried outlining like where his saddle harnesses would go. I was like, oh, that'll be like a really cool idea, right? So even if we were just to use blue and not use the thick, so it's um, shift and left mouse button to thick paint, and we'll just use regular paint. You see, you can't like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you can't like do a line. Like on the sides, it's like this really big kind of flat spot. That's as fine as it gets. Um, that's not even the thick line. So it's a little bit tough, to be honest with you. I'm thinking what I might do is make um, some of the saddle red here. Um, I think might be pretty cool. Actually, we can do that. No, let's get off of you, buddy. Let's go ahead and see. That might look... Oh, crap. We don't have red. All right. So I'm going to make some more red dye. I'm going to play around a little bit. But I figured I'd show you guys a little bit about how um, you kind of got to almost all go all one color. It's hard to get really um, 
really detailed, but we're trying. We're going to come up with something. I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. And he looks a little messed up when he's on the ground. But you see I dyed his saddle. Let's check him out in flight. Let's check out gameplay in flight. What do you think, peeps? I think it's cool. Like, I feel like really all one color is really the way to go, but I do kind of like how it came out. That looks kind of BA right there. Look at that, man. Well, let's do like one of these. Slow down, man. Do the chicken head. Oh, look at it, man. He looks pretty kind of BA. Maybe we'll do like all red with white instead. I don't know. But I had a really good time today, guys. I got to tell you what. We got a new RG gameplay, super high level, amazing. Went over, helped out Kraus, checked out his awesome house. Then we played around with some war paints. And I had, a, I had a good time hanging out with you guys. I hope that you did too. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Go check out Corrales' video. His link is